Uh, but Carrie, so you have partnered with Capital One. Tell us a little bit about what project they have going on and why you chose to partner with them. Well, as a proud Stanford alum, I was so excited to partner with Capital One to let everybody know that Stanford not only won the women's, but also the men's Capital One Cup this year. Um, they really dominated the field. And it's exciting because student athletes, you know, college one division athletics, they put their heart and soul into things and they lead by example, not only on the athletic field, but also in the classroom. It is important. I do want to talk about um, to highlight your 25th anniversary of your iconic performance at the 1996 Games. We're coming up on it. Um, so that said, I do want to backtrack to that moment where you helped Team USA win the gold. You were part of the Magnificent Seven and it all came down to the wire with Team USA, Team Russia. You injured yourself on that first ball. What were your emotions when that immediately happened? I'm sure you were like, oh my God, this is the moment of my life. <laughs> Yeah, um, definitely the butterflies were rotating around quite a bit after that first ball and knowing that I was injured. But much like any other athlete and all these amazing moments we're going to see in Tokyo or you viewed this year on your um, television screen, you're used to dealing with pain and you're used to having adversity as an athlete. And so you have to just focus on the task at hand and kind of allow your muscle memory to take over. And so that's what I did. Um, 25 years ago back in Atlanta. What were your emotions when you knew you had to do the second vault? You know, I was definitely nervous going into that second vault, but I also had a lot of confidence in myself. I had put in the time and the effort. I had done that vault hundreds of thousands of times, whether I felt good or not. And so I just tried to remain positive and dig deep from within. And I think a lot of us um, sports are very entertaining and exciting, but it also offers us hope and inspiration because we see these amazing moments that we just want to see over and over again. And, um, you know, I was fortunate that it occurred at an Olympic Games when the whole world was watching because so many athletes, they go through similar experiences, but maybe just in a smaller competition, you know, or at home in their own gym. But I think the perseverance and the dedication, those character traits that we see, not only in Olympians, but also in college athletes, is things that we want um, to kind of resonate in our society in general, and particularly for our youngsters. Yeah. We know you obviously stuck that landing, brought home the gold for America and what was easily one of the most iconic moments in Olympic history. There, I want to talk about everything that would follow. You were thrusted into the light and kind of uh, got this fame that you probably didn't necessarily expect. How did that moment change for you when you're finally being carried off and, and the, those moments that followed? You know, it was definitely a whirlwind. Um, I had always anticipated going into college athletics um, and kept my eligibility up through Atlanta and that vault. So um, it was definitely unexpected but exciting to you know be on the world stage and to have worked so long and hard to achieve my dream it was finally realized and then to be recognized um i think all athletes that's kind of what they hope for but you never know if it'll become a reality so it was really cool to you know meet these celebrities and other athletes that i had only seen on television and you know over the years it's been 25 years two and a half decades i've come to understand that we all have a lot in common, those, you know, at, at the top of their game um, and those that are vying for something in their future. We all, you know, have to set goals, work hard to attain them. We're going to have setbacks and um, it's those that push through and are mentally tough. Um, those are the ones that are going to prosper. What are your thoughts on the current female gymnastics Olympic team? Team USA is Phenomenal. I mean, they are just magnificent. They're mentally tough, they're physically fit, and the honest truth is nobody comes close. Um, so it'll be phenomenal to just see them dominate another competition. Um, you know, Simone Biles, I think everybody knows <laughs> you have to live under a rock not to know um, her name. And I think it's, again, because of their dedication, their teamwork, their ability to be mentally tough and to always push themselves. Even though we're the best in the world, they want to keep getting better. 
And I think it's, you know, waking up every day and pushing yourself past your comfort zone. That what makes you a champion. Um, you know, there's only so many medals that can go around, but the character of these U.S. women um, on the gymnastics team is phenomenal. And I think that's really important. And hopefully we'll see those stories unravel. So only good things coming in Tokyo. And I'm going to be, you know, glued to my television screen, just like everybody else, because we can't all be Olympians. We can't all go to the Olympic Games, but we can all take part. We can root on Team USA or our favorite athlete. And again, like light that flame from within and be invigorated to do better in our own lives. Hey, sports fans, if you want to watch more sports seriously, be sure to check out these clips right here and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see all the great content from us here at USA Today Sports.